Hello students. Uh, now we are going to see Petrick's method from module two. Petrick method. Uh, it's a technique used to, to determine all the minimum sum of solution for a prime Millikan chart. Uh, prime Millikan chart. Uh, this we have seen in QM method. So we know what is prime Millikan chart. What is uh, um, selection of prime Millikan essential prime Millikan. These all we have seen in QM method. Okay. As the number of variable increases, the number of prime implicants and the complexity of prime implicant chart also increases. In these situations, we can use this Petrick method. This Petrick method uses trial and error method. Okay. Now we will see one, we will solve one uh, problem using this Petrick method. Okay. So these are the steps to be followed uh, to solve the Petrick method. So this is the question. Find simplified logic equation for the given function using Petrick method. Function is equal to summation of min terms 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Uh, so first uh, you will make a table 1 uh, that is determination of prime implicant. From the table 1 we will get the prime implicants. This uh, we have seen in QM method. Okay. Uh, so these are the prime implicants for this. A problem. These are the prime determined prime implicants. A bar B bar, A bar C bar, B bar C, B C bar, A C, A B. Okay. Uh, second, we have to find after finding the prime implicants, we have to choose the essential prime implicant. For that, I am making this table. For that, I am making this table. Okay. I have written all the prime implicants. Now all the min terms in column wise. Okay. Now uh, the first prime implicant a bar b bar is covering the min term 0 and 1 so I marked cross second uh, is covering 0 and 2 I marked cross third prime implicant is covering 1 and 5 fourth one is covering 2 and 6 third is uh, sorry next one is covering 5 and 7 uh, the last one is covering 6 and 7 okay uh, now after this after making this table you can check you can check column wise in all the columns we have two two classes two two classes in this situation uh, we have to use prime we are going to use Petrick method okay so in Petrick method for all the prime implicant we have to give name so I am going to give p1 to p6 p1 is nothing but prime implicant 1 prime implicant 2 till prime implicant 6 I have named it okay now next step is writing function p so function p will become true when all the min terms are covered okay so function p will become 1 when all the min terms are covered that is nothing but uh, p is equal to 0 1 2 5 6 7 you have to cover all the prime min terms okay uh, here the min term 0 is covered by prime implicant 1 prime implicant 2 the min term 1 is covered by 1 and 3 2 is covered by 2 and 4, 5 is covered by 3 and 5, 6 is covered by 4 and 6, 7 is covered by 5 and 6, okay. So, how to write P? P is equal to 0, so 0 is covered by P1 and P2. So, you have to write P is equal to P1 plus P2 into 1, 1 is covered by 1 and 3. So, P1 plus P3. Next, 2. 2 is covered by 2 and 4. So, P2 plus 4 into P3 plus P5 into P4 plus P6 into P5 plus P6 equal to 1. Equal to 1. Okay. So, this is the function. P is equal to. This is a 0. This is for 1. This is for 2. This is for 5, this is for 6, this is for 7. You can check this P3 and P5. P3 and P5, this is for 5. So, 5 is covered by P3 and P5. So, we should write P3 plus P5. We can check P3 plus P5. Okay. So, now we got the function P. This uh, need to be simplified. This need to be reduced. For that, first I am going to use uh, ordinary distributive law, which is nothing but x plus y into x plus z is equal to x plus y z x plus y into x plus z is equal to x plus y z so uh, i am going to check for this format okay see first one p1 p2 into p1 p3 so these two are x and sorry p, p1 is equal to x p2 is y p3 is z okay now these two are in the format 
these two are in the format okay so these two i can i can write p1 plus p2 p3 p1 plus p2 p3 i can write okay it is written here p1 plus p2 p3 okay now i'll check for any common term p2 p4 is here so these two here also p4 is there here also p4 is here so this can be written as p4 plus p2 p6 p4 plus p2 p6 next uh, p5 is common here p5 is common so i can write p5 plus p3 p6 p5 plus p3 p6 okay okay now i i should multiply this so first i will multiply these two terms with the result i will multiply the third one uh, so when i multiply i will get this big term this one this i'll get it okay now uh, i should reduce this also i should uh, eliminate the redundant terms for that i am using another law uh, or absorption law x plus y is equal to x x plus y is x plus x plus x y is equal to x okay so in this uh, equation i have to check for this format x plus x y okay so uh, first i am going to compare the uh, last term p2 p3 p6 so the last two times i am going to compare these two times i am going to compare okay here i have 2 3 6 here also i have 2 3 6 with one more time is here so these can these are in the form form format of x plus x y okay x plus x y is equal to x so when i uh, simplify these two i should cancel this because x plus x y is equal to x so only 2 3 6 will be there this will get cancelled now i am going to compare this with the previous term previous term is this okay so here also 2 3 6 here also 2 3 6 is there p1 is x here okay so this will get cancelled because x plus x y is equal to x okay so that y term x y term will get cancelled okay so this will get cancelled now i am going to compare this and this 2 3 6 here there is no 2 3 6 okay so i can leave this the previous term 2 3 6 is here okay so i will compare this and this now i will compare this and this so when i simplify this this term will get cancelled okay so now the remaining terms are p1 p4 p5 which is here then 1 2 5 6 which is here 2 3 4 5 is here 1 2 4 6 sorry 1 3 4 6 the last one 2 3 6 okay so now this is the possible uh, solution for this problem these are the there are five possible solution 1 2 3 4 5 five possible solution for the problem so the uh, the result can be p1 p4 p5 or p2 p1 p2 p5 p6 or p2 p3 p4 p5 or p1 p3 p4 p6 or p2 p3 p6 okay but out of these five out of these five only in these two terms only in these two terms i have uh, three rows i have three rows one four five here two three six in remaining all i have three three uh, sorry four four rows so i can uh, neglect all these okay so my result can be p1 p4 p5 or p2 p3 p6 okay so we'll see what is p1 p4 p5 p1 is a bar b bar p4 is b c bar p5 is a c 145 okay a bar b bar plus b c bar plus a c this this is my one one answer Another answer is 2, 3, 6, 2, 3, 6, 2, 3 is A bar C bar, B bar C, A, B, okay, A bar C bar, B bar C, A, B, so this is my uh, answer, thank you.